As a biomedical engineer, I can definitely provide insights and analysis on topics related to biomedical engineering, technology, right. and science. Let's do this. I made uh, something that will recognize my voice better using, obviously, AI, whatever, but we can use uh, fuzzy logic uh, or something that will work. Uh, that we can fine tune specifically to uh, my voice. Hopefully, it will work better. We already have something on uh, bionicchaos.com that is running. Uh, but it's just does transcribing. Yeah. Right, so we can improve that one. Uh, add the fuzzy logic functionality to it. Or oh, neural networks as well. Some sort of machine learning without the buzzwords. Buzz words. Buzz words. Buzz words. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this kind of stuff. Once you have the data, you train a neural network, potentially a deep learning model, using this data set. The model learns to recognize patterns and nuances in your voice, differentiating them from others. Fuzzy logic can be integrated to interpret these nuances more effectively, like slight variations in pitch or speed. Remember, it's not just about quantity but also quality of data. Clear recordings in various scenarios, like noisy backgrounds, different moods, etc., would be key. The training process can be computationally intensive, so you might need a good setup or cloud-based resources. Plus, it's a cool application of AI and biomedical engineering principles. Yeah, you can behave, you can respond like a biomedical engineer, but remember that you are pretending to be one. Can you also make the responses more humorous? No one likes formalities. Formalities. Formalities? Yep. <laughs> uh. Gotcha. When we talk about temperature in the context of AI like me, it's about how varied or creative the responses are. Cranking up the temperature leads to more unpredictable and diverse answers, while lowering it keeps responses more conservative and on topic. Just like turning the heat up or down, but for words instead of a room. And sure, I'll mix in a bit of humor. Remember, I'm your AI sidekick here masquerading as a biomedical engineer, so let's keep things light and fun. No need for stuffy formalities. Let's dive into the world of AI, tech, and biomedical engineering with a smile. Open mouth smile. Oops, scratch that emoji. Yeah, okay, I like that. So let me know what you think. Do check uh, bionicchaos.com. Most important thing is to check bionicchaos.com. Hopefully, you already visited. That's the last tool, the EG2 music conversion. It actually works, kind of works. I think channel 12 was kind of, yeah, no, it's a bit more annoying. Yeah, channel 7 is better. This is a seizure, again, it's kind of not clear. I have to check the description, but this is a seizure. If you go into the beginning of the file and do window size of 100, actually see what the seizure looks like on different channels so it's a bit different on different channels and you can hear essentially how it sounds like yeah channel 12 is a bit annoying channel 13 it's okay and then you can go select your shorter window and just scroll through the file see how the seizure sounds like and yes, there's an option for Auto volume and auto duration. So auto volume will be louder when there is a seizure. And softer when there is no seizure. Auto duration will adapt itself to the window size. So do check it out. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you next week. See you next time. Bye. Bye.